Hi guys, we're here to show you what we sold this week on eBay. It's not this week, we just make eBay compilation videos. But it's funny, like we didn't sell nothing for like a week almost, but we didn't list anything. And then in one day, just like seven items plus some other stuff that we show. So eBay goes in spurts. You just keep on listing, 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 and the buyers will come. Casey will show it, I'll talk about it. Spider-Man. Spider-Man, that was kind of some kind of Target exclusive, I think. 30 bucks plus $10 shipping. Then uh, a Phoenix. Special edition Phoenix action figure. We sold it for fifty dollars plus ten dollars shipping. It was either fifty dollars or sixty dollars, one of the two. Check out her costume. Pretty badass. I have to say my quick. <laughs> Homer Simpson special model kit. So there sometimes that thing is listed as low as twenty bucks, but I've seen people sell them for fifteen, sixty bucks. So I put on there forty nine ninety nine, um, ten dollars shipping and somebody picked it up. Boss guitar tuner. These are like brand new mint condition in box. We got eighty nine dollars plus ten dollars shipping. Wow, oh yeah, like boss tuner. Eighty nine plus ten. So eBay, it's going to Ape Froman. If you watch our YouTube channel, thank you for buying Ape. Usagi. 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 Your Jimbo comics. We have over two thousand of these different signature ones. So. This one's not signed. Oh, oh no, yeah. signed right here. You I'm like, uh oh. So we do these 14 bucks free shipping, so we make about 8 bucks a comic. But I have at least 2,000 of them, so what's that? 1,000 times 8 is 8,000, $16,000 in comics? Uh, money. That's low sales. Actually, we might have more because I keep on finding more and more boxes of them, but we'll see. Dun, 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 the monkey's wrapper. Monkey's wrapper. Uh, I believe that one, that's one of my cheapest wrappers. You watch our last videos, you've seen them. Monkey's wrapper, we sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Five that bucks. sounds like a rap group, right? Monkey's wrapper. <laughs> oh. Another Usagi. Usagi Yojimbo, not a comic. Same thing, $13.99. This one's just a nice signature, but a pretty cool cover. Hot Girl. Uh, the Hot Girl, I don't know how much we sold that one for. Oh, she sold for 30 bucks plus $10 shipping. So not that much, but you know what? 40 bucks ship, we'll take it. That's the four. This was really good. This model, this model kit. You gotta get the items. Dumb, dumb. Well, you don't have your papers correct. It's not about that. Don't open it up. So, what it is, it's a die cast model kit. It's limited edition 1958 Ford Thunderbird. And it's, Watson Custom. Those are issued by the Danbury Mint. So, if you guys ever find them, you find them in storage. These are like really high, high quality models. We got $190 for this one plus $10 shipping. You know, it sells anywhere from like 150 to 250 this time. Where did this come from? I don't even remember this uh, one. You know what? I think this actually came where we bought it on Storage Wars. And I actually know this must be different, but I still have a whole bunch of super high end models from that one on Storage where the guy with the diapers and stuff. We find all the brand new iPads. We found the two raggedy. Five years ago, you finally listed it? That's uh, so, so we haven't listed We found all those, we found those two raggedy and dolls. We actually sold those on eBay for like 1300 We sold those for more than estimated on Storage Wars. Can you believe that, guys? And you guys say it's fake. And here's the very last. So if you guys watched our yard sale video, we picked up two of these for 20 bucks a piece. I sold the first one, I believe, for 400 This one, there was no interest. But there's some questions because it's customized so people don't recognize it. And we get, like, we get like weird responses. So this guy said, hey, I'll give you 300 bucks for it. So I'm like, you know what? We spent 40 bucks. We sell two of them for 700 bucks plus shipping minus fees. That's almost a six hundred dollars profit. So we sold that one, three hundred bucks. Cha ching! Let's go look at some more stuff. Hey guys, another what's sold on eBay video. So also this video, I'm gonna give you guys a tip on some really cool clubs that I found today. So that's gonna come back a little bit later in the video. Something that will make you money if you pay attention. But for now, let me start showing you some stuff. Challenger Tino, little train, brass coil. You always want to pay attention for this. And this one's kind of rough condition. It's missing pieces. But, um, and it doesn't have the wheels and stuff. I put it online for 150 bucks because I don't know, I'm in mid condition. I sell for like two, 250. Somebody offered 100 bucks plus $10 shipping. I took it. It just was sitting in a little box in the storage unit. So to me, 100 bucks for that, let's take it. Baseball wrap, as I told you guys before, this is 1969 Tops. And you'll want to watch for the ads. There's different versions with different ads. This one is 29.99 plus four bucks shipping. You guys know these comics right here, the Yusaki or Jimbo comics. I sell these for $13.99 and I think it's three or four dollars shipping. So I'm pretty sure we charge shipping on these and they're autographed, they're signed. And then meanwhile, we've been going through more boxes from the storage unit. And I probably have five or six thousand signed comics by this author. Like, and it's usually like 40 or 50 copies of one issue. 
and um, of one issue, and then I have like all the issue through. Also got a whole bunch of books coming signed by him, statues, all that kind of cool stuff. So it doesn't, that's kind of crazy, but if you think about it, even if I average clearing about 10 bucks a piece on these, 6,000 books, and I might sell them over the next 20 years, but that's like $60,000 in like five little boxes. And I don't care, once you list them once, I have the same book 40 times, I list it like four or five times, and when it sells out, then I just list another batch. Okay, Batman number 46, 1948, a 4.0. You know, so at a show, we're asking 500. Uh, that sold on eBay for, this one sold for 450 I believe, either 450 or 475 I have to check, plus 30 bucks shipping. <clears throat> Fantastic Four Annual, this one sold for 250 I believe. Now, I might be off by 20 bucks or so, because I sold a whole bunch of books at the same time, so 4.5 Annual 1, I sold it for 250 Amazing Spider-Man annual. So I'm waiting for the guy to pay, but we just made the deal. It's a 3.5. Uh, we're asking 800. Same thing. We sold it for 7.25 plus 30 shipping. And then this Batman number 78. That one brought, I believe, um, it's a 3.5, and I believe it brought 350. Either 350 or 375. So that stuff is good. That's why I tell you guys, these are like low condition books. 3.5. That's a low grade. But by spending, you know, the 40, 50 bucks to grade it, you get more money for it. If I would have put that loose just as it is, I probably would have brought 100 bucks. <clears throat> now, these cards right here, you guys seen me sell these before. This is the FDW e e e Vega. Those I used on miners and I had five of these that have burned out. Um, now, I know if you have some connection stuff, you probably can get some kind of warranty for these. But I bought these like two years ago. I don't have the receipts. Uh, I don't know, they burn out. It was a manufacturing font. I think there's even a way to fix them. But um, I just put these up on eBay. Broken as is, parts only. 100 bucks a piece plus $20 a card shipping. And a guy bought all five cars like immediately. And he's also out there in Marina Valley. So he probably has a connection with the company and probably gets these replaced. And then he can double his money, which is fine. I mean, 500 bucks, a lot of people just would have thrown it in the trash. I made 500 bucks out of it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go take a look at those clubs and give you guys an eBay tip. Okay, that's it. Guys, here's an eBay lesson. Unless you play golf, you don't know that. You've all heard of names like uh, Callaway, Tidelast, Ping, King Cobra. But a lot of you guys don't know about this, Scotty Cameron. So those are specialized uh, putters. I'm gonna show you two things to look out for. Any of these Scott, Scotty Cameron pat, pat, uh, putters, pat, sorry, putters, they'll bring at least 30, 40 bucks on eBay. Now check this one out. This is an older one too, a few years. But so can you see this right there, Scotty Cameron? Yeah, I'm trying to get the flash out. Okay, yes. Yeah. So that's about, that's a new port too. You can go on eBay, look at it as yourself. This one is almost mint condition. It looks like it's never been played, to be honest. Uh, like I don't see any, well, I see one little scratch, but I don't see any ball strikes on it. This is Scotty Cameron, fairly late one, so within the last five years. Because it's super nice condition, this will bring about 250 bucks on eBay. I guarantee you, if I were to list this on eBay for $199, it will list tonight. So that's the basic, we'll anytime stop. you, uh, it will sell tonight, yeah. So that's that's the basic um, Scott, Scotty Cameron. Any old club of them, 20, 30, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, and then just up from there. I've seen them so many times when I go to yard sales. I've seen them so many times when I go to yard sales. <laughs> Tatiana, you got your paintings here. What? Pause it for a second. Tatiana, okay, so guys, that was the basic thing. Um, Scotty Cameron, okay? So, worst club, 30 bucks. I, I, I had to stop, so I'm gonna have to edit it. So if I repeat myself, I apologize. But a lot of the clubs, you'll see 60 to $100 and up. And if you have newer stuff, you know, you're looking at a 200 plus range. Now this one right here is another Scotty Cameron. Again, custom shop. A lot of times these will say custom shop, Scotty Cameron. But this one has a thing that a lot of people don't know. I didn't know this either until I just checked it the first time. Uh, basic thing again, Scotty Cameron. Here's the model number. Here's your money maker. <laughs> okay, you see, can you see it right there? Yeah. Are you two only? The big key right here is the T in a circle, mm. which I guess means two only. If you go on eBay and you type in uh, Scotty Cameron two only clubs, and this one again is absolute mint condition. Um, with the T only, they call them Scotty Cameron to circle T. Just type that in there. You'll see clubs go from $500 to $2,000. Wow. They're super hard, super custom. Um, this is one of my expect to get over a thousand dollars for this one. 
Um, and I could be wrong, it could be five, 600 bucks, but watch future eBay videos. I will get this listed the next week or so. And uh, I'm gonna tell you guys how we did with it. And then I have one more club, which is an eBay lesson, but I don't know yet. And if you guys are golfers out there, if you know anything about it. So what shaft, old leather grip. This is handmade in St. Andrews, Scotland. Wow. So I could not find any of these fast on my phone. Uh, also says Acton. I can't read the WHM Winton Acton, so I gotta see what that means. A bunch of people sent me messages about these and said, hey, you wanna research this one? This could actually be the best club out of all of them. Really? So, yeah, if you guys know anything, let me know. Uh, and it says right here, Bob or Rob, and I can't read the rest. Maybe Joseph or so. So I have to research this, but handmade on St. Andrew Andrews. Actually, I had this out of my store for 15 bucks and a whole, until a whole bunch of people sent me messages. Hey, pull this club, research this club first. You know, Augusta, Saint, uh, no, St. Andrews, sorry. So St. Andrews, Scotland, that's where I think golf started. That's the home of golf. So I'm going to research this and see what it brings. If it brings more than 15 bucks, I'm a winner. And again, it'll be on my eBay and I'll update you. Also, I'm going to start putting the eBay links for the videos in there. So, But anyway, Scotty Cameron, that's your eBay lesson. Pay attention to that. Learn it, it will make you a lot of money. Hey guys, some more items are pulled. You can see our eBay room is crazy because I keep on stuffing it with more stuff. Don't show it, don't show it. People already made fun. So, but it's like, you know, I'm very sensitive about people talking about me. I can't, stop it, stop it. You know what, it's killer stuff though. But check it out, Spider-Man animated series. $25 plus $10 shipping. Came from the Horda house. These I'm killing it on. Taktari. And I got somebody that spent with me $10,000. He wants to buy all these wrappers. Uh, this one right here. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure show you the product. Huh? It sold for $20 plus... Uh, I don't know if I did free shipping on those. I might have charged 5 bucks shipping. I don't know. And then this thing right here. I had this. I just listed this. Um, actually, I listed it probably a couple months ago. Nobody really asked. This is a really rare Gil Tweety Bird mini amp. Uh, I had 300 bucks on it. Nobody really asked about it. Um... Somebody offered me a hundred bucks. We counted with 150. He took it. 150 bucks plus twenty dollars plus ten dollars shipping. So um you know it's a cool piece. I think this guy's buying it for a museum or something because he said he wants to pay he's gonna pick them and stuff like this. So must be some sort of online museum. But uh, I have to find two more orders. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey guys, so I just found this one and actually I actually gave the guy a really good deal. 50 bucks. Plus $20 shipping, and the reason I had a couple little rips, like I had a little rip right here, without these people asking 100 bucks, but I figured, you know what, we'll put it up for 50 bucks, somebody's super happy, um, and they get it. Now I have to find a Yusaki Ujimbo statue, which I accidentally listed two, and I think I have a bunch more, so I gotta see, I think I had six of them. I know we sold three already, I just hope I didn't only have three, so let me go see if I can find it. Hey guys, luckily I found it all the way in the back corner. Yusagi Ujimbo. These are signed by Stan Sakai. Um, they're super rare. So like loose, they only sell for like 30, 40 bucks. I was going to put these in my store for $29.99. I think I had six of them. I wasn't sure six or three, but it looks like I had six. It looks like we sold four already because I found two more. And I sold this one and I thought that... Um, I didn't have any more because I double listed it by accident. So $250 because it's signed plus $20 shipping. And good news, Tatiana went to go look. We got one more. So we're going to get this listed probably next week. And this is going to be our very last one unless there's one more buried somewhere. But I think this is the last one. Um, this is great. So we were averaging on these about $250 a piece times six is $1,500 instead of 180 in the store. So I always do your research. And the reason I found that these side ones will bring a lot more is because of worth point, because there were none listed on eBay, none completed. But because of worth point, I could go back and I saw people were paying like 200 to $300 a piece for these. So not a good eBay lesson, get worth point. It's like 20 bucks a month. It's one of the best investments you ever make. Anyway, back to work. Guys, some more Sunday pickups. You guys probably seen these in the past. I mean, they sell slow. But at these, I think originally I got about 50 to 100 of these. I, I never even counted them, to be honest. I got a box full of them. And I probably paid less than 50 bucks for the box. It was just per, was part of a deal. Uh, I sell these for 30 bucks free shipping. The actually original pieces. They sell here and there. So this one just sold. This one cost me 7 bucks to ship plus eBay fees. So I net about 18 bucks. If I have 15 of them, that's like $900 profit. Um, so one guy keeps on ordering from us. I don't know if he's a YouTube watcher or just a fan from the show because he left some cool comments also. 
but he actually bought three of these. I have to go find one more upstairs. Uh, I have them in different areas, and I miscounted. So, but I know I got more of these. Signed. Yeah, they're signed. Uh, he paid fourteen bucks a piece with shipping, so I net about ten bucks a piece on these. But if you guys watch the videos, you know these comics we got over two thousand, and then this was a really nice little score. So uh, I sold that for one hundred and forty bucks. What is it called? Um, it's just Justice League Unlimited, three action figures. I think the Green Arrow right here, the oh, vintage right. Green Arrow makes it rare. I don't know. They just they did all these combinations. Did you say 140 bucks? 140 wow. bucks. Most of the three packs we sell in our store from like 10 to 15 bucks, but this is a special one, I think, because of the Green Arrow. And it brought 140 bucks plus $10 shipping. So that was a nice little sale. Let's see what else we got. Hey guys, so you some more stuff that's sold on eBay. As you can tell, we've taken these in steps. I haven't really been listing that much. I've been really busy. Um, Jump Troops Exo Squad. We got 20 bucks plus 10 bucks shipping, um, which is good. You know, it's more than it would bring in the store. And then this one right here, this is also Exo Squad. And this is uh, Wolf Proske exclusive action figure with Medieval Knight. So that's one of the rarest one to make. Uh, I had this price at like 200 but nobody was biting, but I saw it at 150 a lot of them were selling. So I just sent out an offer to a bunch of people that favored it, 150 bucks. One guy bought it like literally in 10 minutes. Uh, I got 150 bucks plus $15 shipping on this one. So two more cool items. Hey guys, so we sold these right here. These are Kesta, Sada, Sada. Oh, they're heavy. Yeah. So it's special kind of solder, and every little serial number is different. These are 24, 60, 40, 64, or 3. That's okay. So, but we sold these right here, the four rolls. And remember, the one lesson I always give you guys is not just the main machines you buy, but it's like all the little accessories. Like I had like probably 40 or 50 of these. We used to sell these for 100 bucks for a lot of four, and they were selling really slow. So yesterday I sent some offers out, 70 bucks. One guy bought four for 70 bucks, free shipping. It goes on flat rate, so we'll probably end up clearing about 55 bucks of these. And this is just pure profit because it was part of big stuff we dealt. And, like, we didn't count this as anything. It's just when we got it back, we're like, oh, look at these. These are, like, you know, 15 bucks a roll, so. And key, because they're so heavy, even though they're small, you do flat rate. Flat rate Cheapest box. way to send it. Yep. So, anyway, 70 bucks. Guys, as you can see, I look crazy right now. I'm about to hop on a plane to fly to Costa Rica to hang out with my friends in America's card room and play the cage tournament. There's a video coming for that too. But you guys know... Sorry, I'm doing laundry at the same time. My, my wash machine has gas. But as you guys know, the eBay, eBay world never stops. So a couple orders came in. I had to pull them. Casey will ship them later today. Let me show where we sold. Herculoids. I literally just listed that. Let's see, this box is a little bit rough condition. But, you know, they actually probably buying it for playsets. As soon as I list these, they, like, sell immediately. If you guys ever see this series, the Herculoids, it's just a moneymaker. 175 bucks at a discounted price. If this was, like, totally meant, I'd probably get 225 250 no problem. Um, also, these guys, I made a huge mistake a long time ago. This guy was in a swap, and he wanted 10 bucks on Monopoly and all these special Monopoly sets. I probably could have bought them all if I just said, hey, 5 bucks, I'll take all 300 sets. And I didn't. This was, like, way, way a long time ago. Uh, especially Monopoly sets, you know, they bring anywhere from 30 bucks to three, four, five hundred bucks. So you want to wow. buy them. This particular one right here uh, sold for $59.99 plus $20 shipping. This wow. one we charge $15. And shipping. they were selling it at what? Marshall's, Marshall's 20, 20 bucks, bucks. yeah. Wow. So if you guys go out there and you see somebody that collected Monopoly games, just make a deal, buy them all. You cannot lose. You pay 10 bucks a piece, worst case, you double your money. Sorry about the water. It's because I'm washing the whites. It does that every time I wash whites. Hey guys, gotta go. Flying to Costa Rica. Woo! Go baby, go! Hey guys, it's been a crazy day. I just bought a big deal. I think I'm gonna make like 50 grand on. By the time this video will be up, it's probably already up. So uh, check the last three, four videos. It's gonna say something, $50,000 payday or $100,000 payday. We're still trying to figure out how much stuff we actually had, but it's a total gold mine. But anyway, we sold some more stuff on eBay. That's why I'm super turdy. I'm cutting everything. Let me show you really quick. Uh, Kurt Geplinger, these are Dragon Bandai. Double, they're like G.I. Joe action figures, but they're World War II based. And then what this company does, they do them really realistic with all the different stuff that people would have had. That sold for 80 bucks with $15 shipping. Lord of the Rings Deluxe Horse Set, Shadow Rider or Shadow Fax. Um, these sell slow, but still it brought uh, 15 bucks with $20 shipping. 
And then uh, Soviet NKVT officer Petrovich Komarov. He brought 80 bucks plus $15 shipping. What does it hey. look like inside? What do you look like? I like to see it. Look at huh? all the accessories and the outfits. Sorry. Pretty cool. So some of you guys are emailing, hey, Rene, you charge your people shipping. It should be free. Uh, free shipping doesn't work. Also, when people return items, they have to pay for the shipping. Little tip if you want to sell on eBay. Also, I'm not trying to get the cheapest guy. If I get the guy that looks at every price and just wants the cheapest, cheapest, I don't want that customer because that customer... He's cus usually full of complaints. Yeah, that customer problems. is usually full of plans. He needs extra things. He has problems. I want the guy that wants to go for high rating seller, which we are. Somebody with a lot of feedback, which we are. And somebody just wants nice pictures, close organization. There's people that will buy these things for gifts on the West Coast. They won't order from New York because they want it faster and vice versa. So I'm not looking to be the cheapest, cheapest. This stuff sells a lot. If I have these listed for $80 plus 15 shipping and somebody has it for 80 with free shipping, guess what? His will sell, then will mine sell. It's not like these come up all the time. So another eBay lesson. Uh, being the cheapest is the fastest way of going out of business. It's just something to think about.